All right, welcome back. So um, I wanted to take the um, that last project uh, where I showed you how you can use the radio functionality and actually put it into practice. And so here I've got a micro bit connected to uh, my computer and then another micro bit connected um, or just uh, sitting there with the, the radio functionality, uh, sending some data to this one that's connected to the computer. And so here uh, I raided the kitchen, don't tell my wife, um, and stole our lazy Susan. Because um, I thought it was to be cool to look at um, and how we can, we can explore uh, different, uh, you know, how the acceleration is on a lazy Susan, for example. Uh, it was just a simple thing uh, and a little bit easier than letting off a rocket uh, in the in the basement here. So again, if we go through the, the code once again, uh, we are connected with um, group 99. So both micro bits are on 99. We are um, the, the one that's connected to the computer. So that, that's the one uh, that I have the code for right now. So again, it's receiving information that's being sent from this one and that information is uh, if the information has the name that's associated with it is equal to x then it's given the value of x in our um, uh, in our variables and then again the same with y so if it's y then it's setting the y variable to be that value and the same with z and so the x y and z you can see here on the uh, right hand side the x y and z values are then being um, written to the console uh, of the device and so i can go ahead onto the device console uh, and and see that in play here oh we just got to make sure that we i'd already downloaded it but again uh, just as a reminder so we can go ahead and and make sure that we're paired which we are, we can see that this symbol here uh, shows us that we're paired. So we click download. And now uh, we'll see the flashing light again on the micro bit in our uh, connected to our computer. So that's just out of view. And I can show console. And so we'll see the uh, various the numbers as they're scrolling by here on the uh, below, but also in the X, Y and the Z. So it's just got little bits of um, blips here and there. But if we go ahead and spin our Lazy Susan, we'll see those uh, spin around and we'll see how they fluctuate, how the X and the Y will be the same or different, um, and how the Z doesn't really change much at all. And so we can obviously imagine that, okay, the X and the Y are, are here, and the Z doesn't really have an effect on this. see a little bit of a blip here but that could be maybe uh, just to how it's how it's centered so I can go ahead and move this I've just used some double tape double-sided tape uh, on the back of the micro bit so it just doesn't uh, fly off um, but that would be a good like tangential uh, acceleration uh, opportunity so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin it now that we've moved it out how will that change our um, our values in here so our our Z is similar but maybe our you can see the the Y is a little bit different than before so oh moved a little bit so there we are so Again, I just wanted to, uh, to explore this um, and see how it would affect um, the acceleration on the micro bit, or if it changes it at all. And here we've got it almost in the center, a little bit off center. Uh, see how that changes that. So we can see as we change, oh wow, there's a, like a big blip there on the, the Y. I wonder if that's like due to when I'm moving it. So some good questioning here. What if I take the micro bit, I'm going to change the orientation of how it's connected to the battery pack. 
and see if that will have an effect on the um, micro bit. So here we are. Um, oh, that's not a great taping job. Let's see if we can make a better taping job here. So I'm going to now change it to like a vertical position. So now it has, uh, it's going up and down. We'll see if that works. So let's put it in the middle. Let's try that. I don't know. I actually don't know. That's the fun thing about it. All right, let's see what happens. If it flies off, or if I... Cool. Again, the Z doesn't do much. There we are. Cool. All right, but yeah, so uh, I just wanted to show you how you can use uh, the micro bit um, or two micro bits communicating with uh, the radio functionality and to see how you can send data from one micro bit to the other uh, as uh, a way of collecting uh, information. And you can then uh, again export this data through um, the X port data just up here the big blue button and then you can use that in uh, in whatever way you want so again uh, excited to see some of the projects that uh, people come up with and uh, happy coding thanks very much for watching bye for now